Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Welcome back to Windbound. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make magic potions in Windbound. Now, it's a really long process to becoming able to do it. It's, I think, the most challenging crafting thing in Windbound because there's so many steps. But first thing you gotta do is make a shovel. And to make a shovel, you just need to beat the gore horns, the giant bull things that you find on regular islands. And you get their horn and then you can craft a bone shovel. And then you need to come dig up clay. So you can find clay on sandy beaches. And then you need to go to your boat. Well, I guess you could do this on land, but it's better to, yeah, it's definitely better to do this all on your boat because you need to keep this stuff. If you, if you build the campfire for the next part on land, you're going to end up leaving it behind. So next thing you need to do is build a campfire on your boat and then you need to upgrade it to a clay kiln so you'll need clay in order to make a clay kiln and that will allow you to make clay pots it'll also allow you to make metal spears metal shards uh, metal tipped arrows and also metal helm and metal armor so that opens up a lot of new stuff but for the potion making part you need to be able to make clay pots with clay and thick grass and then for the next part, you're going to need metal, which I don't have yet. So I'm going to skip to once I have the metal for that step. I found metal. So to find it, you need... main place you find metal is in marshlands, like this one. And in order to get it, you'll need a hammer, which is also made from the tusks of the giant bull creatures. So then you mine metal, and that's the first one I've got, so I need to go around and find more until I have enough for a uh, furnace, I forget what it's called exactly, but yeah, I'll cut to when I've got enough metal to build it. I forgot to mention that these marshland biomes don't appear until chapter 4. So that's the soonest that you can start getting metal. Once you have enough metal, you need to build another campfire on your boat. You might notice I have a really big boat. Uh, apparently you can make them very large. I've decided to stick to a 3x3 three three deck size. but. Um, Okay, so after you make another campfire, you need to craft a cauldron. So I'm going to do that. Good. So now I've got a cauldron, I can make different potions. So, oh, yeah, I don't have the stuff for that. Pretty much all potions require flowers. Yeah, I don't have any right now, so I will skip to when I have some flowers to build. Uh, but first, <laughs> flowers to craft with. But first, um, you might be wondering why my ship is green. It's because I now have the uh, gore horn uh, figurehead, and it ha gives a shield to your ship. And honestly, from what I've seen, it seems to make you immune to damage. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. It might be a bug. But currently, no matter how much damage my ship takes, it never seems to actually take damage. The shield pretty much renders it invulnerable, but they may nerf that someday. But anyway, I'll be back when I have some flowers to make potions with. All right, I found quite a few flowers that I can use. Also, I have a pot that I finished crafting in here. I'm gonna go ahead and relight my kiln. Ooh, nice armor. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and start making a helmet. I really like the helmet. The armor slows you down, 
while it increases stamina drain, but the helmet doesn't. So I'm gonna make the helmet. Oh, nice, it's instant. Cool, oh, cool, and it's already equipped. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna start crafting another clay pot. And let's make some potion. So we got stimulant of stimulation. Drastically increases the speed of stamina regeneration for a long period of time. Or I could make filter of fleet footedness. Increases your walk and sprinting speed for a long period of time. Ooh, like that. Brew of brisk shot. Increases your fire rate for ranged weapons temporarily. Ooh, that's also nice. I think I'll try Stimulant of Stimulation first. Oh, is that Instant Craft as well? <laughs> I just got a trophy called Overcooked. No, I guess... I guess it takes a really long time, because I don't even see the progress bar going. Wow. Oh, I need to light the fire. I forgot to do that. Okay, now it's going. Ooh, and that crafts really fast. Good. We can wait on that and try it out. Got another pot here. And I need some space. Oh yeah, another cool thing is some potions use rotten food. So there's actually a use for rotten food. I wondered why rotten food was an item that takes up space. I, you'd think it would just disappear when it goes rotten, but rotten food is just used on remedy of regeneration. Kind of strange that rotten food can regenerate your health. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I need to deposit something. Let's just throw something in there for now. Alright, let's try this out. Cool, so it's down on the directional pad for potions. Ooh, nice. There's an animation for it, but she doesn't actually hold the item in her hands, but at least. Cool, so for five minutes I have increased stamina regeneration. I think I'll make a... There was something else. Oh, I, I must have put my blink fronds away. Well, let's start making a potion of fleet-footedness. But anyway, that's a demonstration of all the steps it takes to make potions and metal items. Um, let me let me list all the steps real quick. You need to make a shovel from a gore horn, and then you need to dig up clay, and then you need to craft a clay kiln, then you need to craft clay pots, and then you need to get metal and make a cauldron, and then you can make metal items in the kiln, and you need to get flowers and other ingredients, and you can make potions in the cauldron. So that does it on my demonstration on how to make magic potions and metal items in, in Windbound. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay.